What makes Hearthstone unique? Card games, a seemingly niche market but continues to exist today despite the surge of video games. Even the most hardcore gamers have dabbled in the likes of Magic the Gathering, Yu-Gi-Oh! or the Pokemon trading card game at some point in their life. There's something about the feel of shuffling cards or the smell of a fresh booster pack that gamers just can't experience in a video game. Hearthstone Heroes of Warcraft was officially released in March 2014, and even during the beta did it cause stirs in the free-to-play market. Rather than going for a MOBA, which Blizzard ended up doing anyways, Hearthstone is a virtual card game with booster packs, the ability to buy singles, and of course, one-on-one -on -one multiplayer. It even has that local card shop feel thanks to the quirky but lovable innkeeper's voice greeting players every time they log in. Oh, it's good to see you again. Pull up a chair by the hearth. What makes Hearthstone unique is its tried and true gameplay with simplistic balance and strategy so that any player can pick it up easily, making for a fresh and casual experience. From its design elements, Hearthstone is very entertaining to look at. From the cards ranging from cute to cool to weird characters, all with funny battle cries, the game has this quirky and fun-loving presentation. It compels players to quote these memorable one-liners, all while playing a card game. The game itself is very easy to understand. Playing a card costs mana. Each player has a mana pool that starts at 1 and increases by 1 each turn, up to a maximum of 10. So long as players have mana to spend, cards to play, or characters to attack, players can do whatever they want on their turn. This is heavily derived from other popular card games like Magic, but it's made simpler by having the main resource of the game, mana, readily available. Other card games need specific resource cards in the deck, which ultimately makes decks on average 10 cards thicker. With small, 30 card decks, it's made as user friendly as possible with very little restrictions. One of the few restrictions, however, is the number of duplicates allowed in the deck. Only two copies of a card is allowed, and in the case of legendaries, just one. This rule isn't necessarily set to keep strong cards to a minimum, but rather to force players into having a variety of cards in their deck, often leading to needing a few filler cards when going for certain strategies. On the contrary, players with large collections find themselves having to pick cards carefully, as 30 cards does not leave a lot of flexibility. This forces players to pick a strategy and stick to it, which is very exciting as Hearthstone aims to keep balancing as simple as possible. If one were to look at all the cards in Hearthstone, there is a noticeable but overlooked structure to the balancing. It's almost a simple calculation. Card value is equal to cost times 2 plus 1. It may seem confusing, but look at everyone's favorite, the Chill Wind Yeti. At 4 mana cost, he has 4 attack and 5 health. With this equation, his cost, 4, times 2 is 8, plus 1 is 9, and Chill Wind stats add up to a perfect 9 as well. Many cards in the game follow this formula. Most 1 mana cards have stats of 1 and 2, and cards that are below this average usually have some ability to make up for it, like the Elven Archer. 1 mana, 1 attack, 1 HP, but because it does 1 damage with its battle cry, it increases its value to meet the equation. Conversely, cards that are above the average usually have a downside, like discarding cards or hurting the player. Eventually, players come to realize how the game values certain actions. Nearly all the draw-related cards equal about 2 mana per card. Hero powers usually equal about 1 to 1 on its mana cost, and abilities like Charge, Divine Shield, and Taunt are all worth a few of these value points as well. This is merely a simplified way of explaining the balancing in Hearthstone. Once strategy comes into play from hero powers, class-specific cards, and how they all work together, a card's usefulness is based on its synergy with other cards and giving a deck flow over the course of a match. As Hearthstone has been around for a few years now, expansions have turned the once simple metagame to be a bit more complex, but the premise and the general flow is still very simple. Just a few hours with the game can be enough for any player to learn which cards are worth using and which are a waste of precious mana. Hearthstone doesn't fail on its promise to be accessible and have a low barrier to entry. It's a simplistic game that almost favors its presentation and environment over its complexity. However, just because simplicity is a point of difference compared to other card games and even free-to-play games, that doesn't mean that the strategy and balancing is lost in its bare-bones design. It even uses the fact that it's virtual to its advantage with cards that make random outcomes or adds cards to the deck. Its straightforward gameplay is used to make the competitive atmosphere more universal and brings together a fun and friendly environment as a tabletop game should. And that is what makes Hearthstone unique. If you enjoyed this video, click that like button, and if you'd like to see more videos that discuss what makes any video game stand out, be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching.